you for watching the fantastic news. But I did do do do. We are live. Oh, <clears throat> so then. Hi, I'm Stainbrook here, live in Delaware. Sir. Um, I'm about to interview. Thank you. He's dead. But, but I did do do do. 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 ago, we received a disturbing recording from beyond. Oh, when you're down and looking for some cheer, oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah. Right on up. Another one. You have reached the Taliban. We cannot answer the phone right now because the Americans are bombing the shit out of us. To leave a message for the Taliban, please press 1. For Osama bin Laden, please press 2. For the Al-Qaeda network, please press 3. For all other terrorist information, please press 4. So here this message again. Is this still so bad? We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. That was like the ultimate gold stock of knowledge. No, but now it's all gone. Too bad. That's too bad. <clears throat> I think we should go to the weather with Steve. Yes, Steve, bring us the weather. Thank you. With some weather here. Some more weather here. Weather right here. Thank you. He's dead! <clears throat> Steve, I have a question for you. Uh, do you think if you stay in the sun too long, um, you might show up like a raisin? Because that has been pressing on me forever. I saw that happen once. Really? Yeah. Because that's why I don't eat raisins, because that's like... I'm they're eating. people. They're, they're people, too. I know. They're people, like, too. I don't want to, like, chew on, like, someone's... So what someone. do you think, Steve? It's true, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. Whatever. I think it's true. Mm. <clears throat> well, then. Why don't we go to the fail of the week? Hook us up, Gregory. Ah! Cold! Breaking news! A search warrant at Dr. Conrad Murray's office revealed some interesting evidence to the death of the beloved pop star Michael Jackson, Murray, was Jackson's doctor when he died. Just before he died, he was given medication. So was this murder, or was it manslaughter? What? Steve, take us to the weather today. What's it look like out there? I'm Steve, the weatherman for Spastastic News. And as you can see, it's a perfect summer day out. I mean, just look at the sun. Oh, I'm blind! Ah! There goes my paycheck! Okay, back to business. What is it? What is it? Mm. Show me. Scientists have just learned drugs are bad for you. No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 
Really? No, it doesn't say that. Yeah, it does. Look. Gregory's messing with us. Look. He's doing it again. Gregory wouldn't risk his job. He lives at home with his mother. Oh, that poor, sad son of an ice cream cone. I know. <sighs> okay. This, this changed. Well, we got some. We got, we got Stainbrook live in New Man Manhattan. He's going to give us some interesting facts. That's me. In Manhattan. Live. <laughs> hey, it's Stainbrook here. I'm live in Manhattan with the question of the week. Do you like pudding? Yes. He does. It's really cool, because I like pudding, too. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor? Chocolate. That's, that's really funny, because that's mine, too. What do you like to eat your pudding with? Whipped cream. That's not funny, because I don't like that. I like to eat it with a spoon. Can you tell us about your first experience with pudding? No. That's funny, because I could. My first experience with pudding was tragic. I was in kindergarten. I ate some pudding. And then a kid took my pudding. Sorry, guys. Wow, what an interesting story, Stainbrook, myself. This newscast is brought to you by Peanut Butter. Thank you for watching this fantastic news. But it did do do.